let's take a look at the hierarchy of triangles. Now what this means is we're just kind of comparing the triangles. Um, and here what you'll see is um, we have three types. I color-coded them. And at the bottom here, I, I wrote that triangles sometimes can get their names by looking at their side lengths. So what you may notice is you may see some lines here. That line, the fact that it's one dash dash and one dash, that means that's a way that in math you can show that all sides are equal. Now here, this kind of looks like a face or a mask. Uh, the fact that this is one dash and one dash, that's our way of saying that those two sides are the same and this side is different. And here with our red triangle here, uh, you can see that this side has one dash, two, and three. That is the way to note that all three are different lengths. So you can see here an equilateral triangle. Equa or equal, you can see that root word means equal and lateral means side. This means all your sides and angles are equal or the same. All right, which kind of makes sense. Then if you look at isosceles, isosceles is at least two sides and angles are equal. So in this case, this side and this side are equal, and this angle and this angle will also be equal. And then we have scaling. Scaling is or has no equal angles, no angles or sides are equal. So everything is different. You can see each side has a different length, which therefore means each angle will have a different length. Now there's one thing I'd like to point out before we move on, is if we look very closely um, at the description here, it says at least two sides. So what if all three sides are equal? Since that is at least two sides, um, and this is where it can get a little tricky, equilateral can also be called an isosceles because there are at least two sides and angles that are equal. Okay, so now let's take a look at another way that triangles can get their names. Triangles can also be named based on the angles that make them up. So we have acute, we have acute angles, or two triangles, sorry. We have right triangles, and then we have obtuse triangles. Now, in an acute ang triangle, it means all angles are acute. If you're unfamiliar with the term acute, that means that all the angles, or the angle is less than 90 degrees, okay, which you can see here. So it's less than 90 degrees, okay? And then with our right triangle, very simply, a right triangle is a triangle with a right angle. So you can see in that right angle is typically noted with a little box in the corner. This box represents a 90 degree angle. And finally, we have the obtuse triangle. A, an obtuse triangle is a triangle with one obtuse angle. So again, if you're not familiar, we have an obtuse angle is an angle that is greater than 90, but it's also less than 180, which is a straight line. Okay? So if it has, it just needs one of these, one obtuse angle, and it is then called an obtuse triangle. If you're wondering, it is impossible to have an obtuse triangle with two obtuse angles. Um, We'll get to that in another lesson, but just take my word for it. So again, quick recap. We have acute triangles, which has all angles that are less than 90. You could say they're cute little angles, okay, each of these angles here. So they're all cute. Now, another triangle could look something like this. This would be acute because all of them are less than 90, okay? Um, it just doesn't have to look exactly like our equilateral. As long as all those angles are less than 90, we are good. Now the other two, it's pretty um, pretty cut and dry. If it has a right angle, it's a right triangle. If it has an obtuse angle, it's an obtuse triangle. 
All right, so that means that each triangle can have two names. There is what we could call an, ang an angular name or a name made from the angles, or as we just did previously, it can um, be named based on its sides and the length of those sides. So now it's your turn uh, to try a few. So I'd like you to try these. I would like you to provide two names for the following triangle. Um, so with this triangle, I would like you to uh, mention its side name. So based on its sides, what type of triangle is it? And based on its angles, um, what name would we give this triangle? Okay, and then my second situation is as follows. We have just Lenny says that every equilateral triangle is also an isosceles triangle. And then Isabella says that every isosceles is an equilateral triangle. Who is correct and why? This is probably the trickiest question whenever you're talking about triangles, so really be careful with this. Think it through. One is right and one is, um, one is not. So figure out who is right and give me a little explanation as to why they are right. So as always, make sure you put your name and your answers on that paper and see that I get that in the morning. And as always, I hope this helps.